to announce World War III. Three world title fights all in one night. A glorious night's boxing featuring the WBO middleweight championship fight between the champion Andy Lee and the challenger Billy Joe Saunders. We have the WBO light, lightweight championship between Terry Flanagan, Manchester's own, and Diego Magdalano from the United States. And we have the vacant WBO World Junior Middleweight title between Liam Smith from Liverpool and Michael Sorrow from France. This is a fantastic card, fantastic fights, even money fights. For your fight fan, the place to be is Manchester on the 10th of October. When that arena will be buzzing, where we're going to see hopefully the best of British, going to the best from around the world in a, in a great night's action. We also have four other title fights on the card featuring Luke Blackridge against Lee Markham for the Commonwealth Super Middleweight title. We have An Adrian Gonzalez fighting for the vacant WBO European title against John Cage from Ashton Under Line. Liam Walsh will be in a world title eliminator, which we are working on at the moment. And we will have Jack Catterall defending his title also on the card, plus a, an array of some of the best other young talent in the country. This is a fantastic night for British boxing, fantastic night for Box Nation, and we're looking really, really looking forward to delivering you, the fans, some of the best action of this year. Um, the show will be, will be uh, sponsored by Corals, the bookmakers of Rain of Steel. Uh, tickets prices will be from £30 up to £300. It'll be live and exclusive on Box Nation. That's Sky 437H or HD 490. Virgin 546 and Talk Talk 525. Um, at the table we have from my left Andrew Crollo, we, uh, sorry, Andrew, Adrian Gonzalez, Liam Smith, Billy Joe Saunders, and to my right Andy Lee, Terry Flanagan, and Jack Catterer. Uh, as I say, for me as a promoter and a fight fan, I don't think it gets any better than this. Uh, this, is, this will be a sellout show, um, without a doubt. As I say, um, one I think which one will be the best British title fight, uh, title bills of the year. Anyway, for all the guys here at the table, I know you've got questions to ask, so please feel free to do so. <coughs> Yeah, I was very disappointed. Um, fighting memory would have been obviously a big, big, big night for me, and um, it would have been yeah, it would have been more, more than a big night. It would have been a dream come true almost to defend the world title in a long time, but it wasn't to be. And rang out and met the call, and and now it's it's, it's the right call. I'm going to need to be 100 percent for the fight in order to win. And um, going into a fight, especially against someone like Billy Joe, I, I need to. Be, so, the call was made now. I'm fighting in Manchester, and I'm just focused on October 10th. And um, yeah, I was disappointed for the last week, but I had to move on and get over it and focus on the next fight. Um, <coughs> Liam, you've been waiting a, a long time for a world title shot, but this still came out of the blue. What was your reaction when you heard the news? Um, like, I've been fighting early, you know, we didn't get any better news as a professional boxer, but it's not out to be. Um, the phone call I wanted for a while, so you know, I think I'm um, really lucky to get here, and really lucky to have you around. I know, I know my opponent well, I've sparred him before, so you know, it's a fight I'm looking forward to, and it's a, it's a bill I'm looking forward to as well. What was those spares kind of like with him? Good, you know, he was only a week sparring, but do good, he, he, he's a very good fighter, and I don't expect nothing less for a world title. You know, if you ask me, was it that, he, I think he's better than Bundred, so. No, I think it's a, it's a tough world title. Uh, Liam, just um, no, you 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 maybe have the chance now to become the first of the brothers to win that world title. Will be any sort of joke back home if you can sort of do it, do it for. I know they're all playing you on, like it's not competition, but you know friendly rivalry. Right? Yeah, yeah no, that is. I will, I will say I'm the first. No, I thought I was going to be the first to win the best of side about why it's just just mad how times change. I'm not going to be the first to win the British top right. I'm probably going to be the first world champion of the family. And I suppose um, you know, it's an exciting time for me and my family. Um, Billy, was there a touch of frustration having gone to Spain and then having been back in England and you're returning again then, I suppose, for camp again? 
Uh, listen, I've, I've been training extremely hard back at home as well, you know, so the focus is on um, obviously in Spain or wherever, but you know, it is what it is. He's uh, he, he picked up the virus and obviously that you don't want to go in there 60% when you're going in a fight like this. You know, the fans got to be, you know, they're expecting a good fight and we don't want to, you know, if the fan got beat or so, then I would say he's got a virus. I think he's done the best thing, but as I say, the venue then wasn't available in Limerick and, uh, you know, Frank Ron's put it on here and I think that. You know, like I say, if this don't sell here, you know, there's nothing, there's another three world title fights you've got here, plus me and Andy Lee for my background and roots coming through, that I think this should sell in Africa, to be honest with you, but can't here. <laughs> so, it's going to be a good one. Terry, another big fight in Manchester. How much do you know about your opponent? I've not seen much of him. I've wee bit to the coach, he does all the research, and I just do the, uh, the boxing side of it. I've watched bits of him, but... What I've seen of him, he's a good fighter. It's going to be a good fight. He is a good fighter. Um, he's he's uh, promoted by Bob Arum as his sorrow. I've done the deal, finalised the deal with sorrow yesterday with, with uh, Bob Arum in London. Um, it's a tough. This is a tough fight for for Terry. You know, he's uh, he's not had an easy choice for his first defence. Well, it wasn't a choice really. It was just put on us as being a mandatory. But it is a tough fight. But I believe that Terry. Is a, is a tough fighter himself. I think he's a quality fighter. And this is a winnable fight for him. And he can win this fight. Won't be easy, but he can win this fight. And more importantly, he's doing it in front of his home fans and his, his hometown. Doesn't get any better than that. And uh, I'm quite sure he'll come out as the victor and will cement himself as being one of the best lightweights in the world. And it, as I say, it's, uh, you know, all the guys have got tough fights here. You know, Andy Lee, Billy Joe Saunders is a tough fight. There's, you know, bookmakers, I don't think they, they, you know, there's a lot of split. Same with Terry and uh, Magdalena. Liam Smith and Michael Sorrow. Michael Sorrow's only uh, lost one fight. He's a good fighter, so he's with Bob Arum now. Um, you know, for Liam, again, it's a tough fight. But they're winnable fights because these guys are quality fighters. Um, but, you know, these two, obviously, out of these, I'm, I'm with. Bill, I'm um, his uh, promoter as well as his manager. Um, Adam Booth, who's I've had about three of my guys fight Adam Booth's fighters, and unfortunately for me, each time he's come out the victor with his boxes. And uh, I hope this time, and I believe this time, it'll be different. Um, unfortunately, Adam could be here today because he's got he's got he's a virus. You can go down his house and check him if you don't know, believe he's got a virus, so he won't be here. But these are these are great fights. I mean, now great fights for the fans and the undercard. There's a lot of 50-50 fights on the undercard. You know, Luke Blackridge and Lee Marker is a good fight. It's a good domestic fight. You know, Adrian and John Case and Jack were going to step up in his next one, as I mentioned. And uh, Liam Walsh will be, in a, will be fighting in a form of an eliminator for the world title. So it's a cracking bill. Billy was at the Manchester Arena last year where he won the European title. Are you glad to be fighting back here again? Yeah, I've boxed here twice now. My second pro fight. Um, you know, I picked up the European title against Van der Moore. Um, fight for the, for the world title in Manchester as well. You know, you know, it's in England, and he's flying the flag for Ireland, and you now as I'm flying for England. To win the world title here, I class it as own soil. And um, like I say, as it would have been for Andy in, in Ireland, it's a dream come true for me, in front of my fans as well. Um, but you know, it's a tough job ahead of me. So I get down, get down to hard business. And uh, listen, I'm expecting the fight of my life. You know, I'm not expecting to be in there and, you know, anything, any favours, just because I'm here, I expect the fight of my life and I'll be prepared for it. Uh, Billy, you spoke there about you've got, you're fighting at home, so does that give you an advantage of the change of location? Well, listen, I think that, you know, when it's getting to the nitty gritty and you've got your, you know, your fans right here, but as I say, Andy's got fans here as well, you know, he's, he's, he's well popular, but, you know, I think that, you know, that gives you that little bit more spur on, you know, when it's getting desperate and, you know, you're in there and you've got to fight. And, uh, you know, obviously the fans, they, they G on that little bit, they pull that little bit extra out, so, yeah, it could be a factor. Yeah, Frank, just one for you, I was just looking at the bigger picture in terms of British World Champions, and I think seven's an all-time record, Terry got us up to seven. It could be another two, um, you know, from your card as well. You know, is this a golden era for British boxing, or do you see it in your, your past experience? I think it is a golden era. You know, um, Having said that, you know, a couple of, I can't remember, it was a few years ago, I said, I think we had about six or seven yeah, world champions yeah. in the stadium, but 
in our stable. But you've got, you, it is a, bit, a golden era. And I think what's happening in Manchester, you know, when I started promoting in Manchester, it's pretty much on the floor up here as far as uh, big, big shows are concerned. And Ricky Hatton sort of kicked it, got, got it rolling. And I think that's sort of uh, turned this into the, I suppose, the fight capital of the UK at the moment, which is what it is. Uh, Manchester, they say, it's where it's all happening as far as events are concerned. Or, you know, from the, around the world, I was reading a couple of weeks ago, and certainly it's happening from a boxing perspective. And uh, it is a great era. I mean, you look what the amateurs done the weekend. I think we had a, a golden, is it four silvers in the, uh, in the in the tournament, which is a record. So you know we're doing really well in, in boxing, and uh, and there is some super talent around, and there's a lot more coming through. And I think that you know there's some guys sitting here at this table that are going to go on, and not just become massive stars in the UK, I think they've become big stars in the world. They're very capable, they're capable fighters and they're, you know, and uh, some of them have been very patient and it's, you know, in boxing it's about timing. Terry got his timing right in his last fight, you know, we, he, we, we got him into a position uh, where he got his, you know, where he won his world title. I know the guy's shoulder had come out, but having said that, I thought, you know, for what we see in the fight, he was doing really well. Um, and timing is right now for, I think, for uh, Terry and for Liam. And these are, as I say, these are two, uh, two super fighters, and uh, that I, I believe they will, they will become away with, with the title. And as I say, you know, I just mentioned about Bill and Andy. Andy is, uh, no, you know, he's used to fighting in other guys' backyards. He's done that all around the world, you know, in the States to do what he's done is phenomenal. I think he was the I think he was the standout fighter of last year from I know he's Irish and we say Britain but say from Ireland and Britain I think he was he was the standout performance. He every fight he went into he was the underdog and he done a job and uh, you take the help from him. So he's not going to be phased about boxing in Manchester. But he's fighting a, in my opinion a special fighter in Billy Joe Saunders who's undefeated of European titles. Um, done everything was asked him as an amateur. You know young young representative going to the uh, Olympic Games and, and give a good account of himself. But fought his, self, fought his way into this position, so now it's, he's got to make it his moment. You know, come the 10th of October, you know, his destiny awaits him. He's got the champion here on my right, who, um, who's got a couple of exercises there that if he lands him on your chin, you can be in trouble. Bill's got a great chin. Hopefully you don't get, they don't get that on his chin, but we know he's got a great chin and he can pull it out of the bag himself, as he did up here when he won the European, which was a bit of a sensational stoppage. So this is, you know, these, these are cracking fights, great fights for the fans. Uh, the bookmakers are going to have a good, you know, going to have a hard job, I think, with the odds. But they are close fights, they're 50-50 fights, and there's an, there's an argument for everyone, everybody on, you know, in these three world title fights, who will win? But, um, you know, I believe that we, we can, you know, our guys can come through and, and make it a great night for, for the UK. Frank, it's not just the champions though, especially in Terry's way, there's a lot of British at world level there, that there's a lot of big fights to be made, all British domestic fights as well. Well, there is, I mean, there's no doubt about that, but, you know, Terry's got to get this one out of the way first. We made an offer to, um, to uh, Anthony Crawler. We offered him a lot of money to fight. Terry, but uh, he turned it down and he's going for the other fight, the rematch with Perez. Um, that would have been a great fight. But for me, that says a lot about Terry. The fact that, you know, let's find out who's the best fight, fight the best lightweight in the north northwest. We didn't even get to that. I think he is. And, uh, you know, and he's, he's one of those guys as well. He comes from a sort of, you know, the tough back, the tough background. What I mean by tough background? He hasn't had any favours, Terry, has he? He's had to do it the hard way. He, he's bought all the small hall shows, he's come through those and, and got on board with us. And I think we sort of had him a little bit of um, ice into his cake and in getting him the opportunities to fight for the title. But he's a cracking fighter. I really do think he's underestimated. And I think that he's going to go out there and show everybody and the world what he's got. You know, Bob Aaron doesn't get involved with schmuck fighters. The fighters that he gets involved with are all quality. You know, and uh, extended these guys over here, they're very confident. Um, so we've got good fights, but I think that I think Terry will prevail against uh, Rick Delano. Thank you.
Yeah, it's a very tough fight. Could I just ask Jack, um, you've been nominated for a few awards for Young Boxer of the Year and, and that. How big have they been on this card of three world titles? What do you think it'll do for your profile? Yeah, I'm very grateful for the opportunity, obviously. Three world title fights, so couldn't be any more grateful, really. Looking forward to getting in there and uh, defending the title again. Um, Brown, I mean, do you see Billy as an underdog in this fight? Um, it's his 50 50 fight. Um, I think now that it's in Manchester, it's even closer than it was before. Um, I think the major fight specialist, there's a lot of pride on the line. There's always pride on the line, I guess, when you're fighting, but this one, especially with our backgrounds. Um, we're going we're gonna to leave it ring. I know he is, and he knows I am. That was, you know. With, with the pulling out of Grimrick, I have to get on, like I said, I have to get on him because I know how, how, how hard this fight will be. And um, just to echo Frank, Frank's words, I didn't know the full details of the car were coming in today. Like, it's going to be a special night of boxing. Jack Carroll is, I've watched him, and he's, he's, he's a leading prospect and maybe a future world champion, I think, if he just carries on the way he's going. And Seth and Terry fighting the best challengers out there, and Liam, I know Michael Sorrow, he's a very good boxers, so the three fantastic fights and the undercard was good too. So I'm ha happy to be part of a big card and to share the stage with, with these fighters. Yeah. When do tickets go on sale, Frank? Uh, tickets on sale today, I think. All on sale today. You get them from the Aventum or the Arena. Um, details are on the back here. So get your tickets before we sell out, because they're going to be a hot ticket. Are there um, more questions? Yeah, just a question to Adrian. What's it mean for you to be on um, a, a card like this, and a night like this, with three world titles? Um, yeah, it's great. Um, you know, I feel blessed to, uh, to get the opportunity to, to showcase my talent on, on such a big uh, show. You know, I've been on, on a few in the past, uh, and I've been blessed with that. Um, so really, it shouldn't affect me being on the big stage, you know. Um, I'm just looking forward to uh, winning my first title on that night. Get to beat someone from Manchester as well, so it's extra sweet. But yeah, I feel blessed. Thanks, Frank. It's a pleasure, young man. And we've got just one other fight I forgot to mention. Tom Stalker against Craig Evans. Cracking fight. Another 50-50 job. So this is, the, this is the night for the fight fans. Are there any more questions? Thank you very much. Thanks for everybody joining us on BoxNation.com live. Um, we all look forward to seeing you over the next few weeks at various press conferences and certainly on the night at the, at the Manchester Arena. Thank you very much. Thanks,